Okay, guys, uh, we are going to get started uh, this morning. It's Legree at home. So all you need is a towel um, or a slider, a booty band, and of course, we need um, some light hand weights. That's all you'll need. I've linked the playlist below. And let's get started. So we are starting in a super crunch. So you're going to be sitting down on that tailbone. Feet are on that slider, and you're gonna extend it out and in. So squeeze up from those inner thighs, pull that belly button in towards the spine. You got that lean back on that inhale, you exhale on your way up. You go, you, I'll show you from a side angle. With that core engaged, squeeze up from those inner thighs, lifting yourself up. Maybe you don't come up all the way to keep that core constantly engaged. Maybe you bring those hands up above the head, making it a little bit harder for you. Breathing in and out. Can you keep an eye on that rib cage for me? So that rib cage wants to flare open. So can you knit the rib cage together, keeping that spine nice and neutral, further engages that core. We're gonna hold it out in three, in two, and one, hold it out for me, pull that core in, reach those arms out, now reach them overhead and back to the chest. Reach them overhead. So you're gonna feel that core shake a little bit more as those hands go up above the head. We're gonna bring it into a plank next. Feet are gonna be on that slider in three, in two, and one. So coming on up real quick. I'm gonna fold up my mat. My forearms are gonna be down on my mat. Toes are on the slider. From here, you're holding in that plank, squeezing up from the inner thighs, knitting that rib cage together. We're gonna pike the hips up, lifting up, staying up onto those tippy toes, slowly bringing it right back down. Slow and controlled, squeezing up. If it only comes up an inch and down an inch, it's totally fine. I want you to work with what's good in your body. Inhaling as you come down, exhaling as you lift up. Nice job, guys. Staying strong with it. Keep going. I want you guys to keep going. Squeeze up from that center core. Stick with me here, guys. Exhale with that lift. We're gonna bring it down to our plank in three, in two, and one. Bring it out to that plank and pop up to those hands. Shoulders are stacked over those wrists, wrap those shoulders down away from those ears, and now bend the knees underneath the hips. Exhale with the knees come in. Inhale as they send it out. So pressing away from the floor, we don't wanna collapse down. I want you to press away, bend those knees, glide underneath. Inhale on the way out. I want you to squeeze up from those inner thighs. So all the way from the ankles up to that belly button, even up to that rib cage. I want you to feel that big zipper all the way up. So you feel that whole body engage the entire time. Okay, we're almost there. We're gonna hold those knees in, in three, in two, and one. Hold those knees underneath those hips, pull that core in. So you're that floating tabletop. I want you to lift that booty up an inch and down an inch. So it's just a little pulse, pressing away from that floor, lifting up from that center core. You're gonna meet me down in a plank. You can come off that slider in three, in two, and one. So come off of that slider if you need to. You're on those hands, on those toes, option to bring it to those knees. I'll show you on the knees here. You're gonna walk those hands out in front of those shoulders. So it's like a walking wheelbarrow. You're gonna feel the upper core start to shake. I call this on my plank walk. Try to minimize that sway in the hips, squeeze through the butt, the inner thighs, knit that rib cage together, walking those hands back and forth. Up on those toes, it's gonna be a little bit harder. We're gonna hold those hands out in three, in two, and one. Hold those hands out in front of those shoulders. Squeeze through those under thighs, pull that core in. We're gonna bring it up. We have a little bit of cardio boost here in three, 
in two and one. Coming on up, we have in and out jump squat. So feet are gonna start together. You squat down, come up, step out, wide squat. So you can jump. I'll show you the cardio boost version. If not, you can step the feet in, step the feet out, taking it a tad slower, but getting that movement through the body, doing a squat at each position of those feet. Keep that core engaged. Whew. Almost done, guys. We're gonna grab that slider again. We have an elevator lunge coming up. We're gonna start with our left leg on the floor, right foot on that slider. In three, in two, and one. Okay. Left foot's on the floor, right foot is on the slider. Grab a quick sip of water. Ooh. Right heel is lifted, right leg stays straight. I want you to deeply bend that left knee, slowly come down. Squeeze through those inner thighs, lift up from the hamstrings. So the back of the leg is lifting you up. Now the back, we don't want to arch it. We don't want to lean forward all the way. I just want a slight hinge. So you maintain that slight neutral spine. You're pulling that belly button in towards the spine. You're digging through the left heel to lift you on up. Whew. So I want you to think about how slow you can go in this one. Cause you have that slider, you can come up real, real slow. It's not about how fast you go. It's very Ligree inspired. So it's always how slow can you go? We lunge it down for one, for two, for three, for four. And then dig through the left heel, lift up for one, for two, for three, for four. You're gonna meet me down though in that hold here coming up. Getting low in three, in two, and one. So holding it low, you're gonna bend your back knee, pull that, car that carriage, that towel in. So staying low on the left side, you're just bending and extending your right leg, digging the left heel down into that floor. You can feel it in the glute, in that hamstring on that left side. We're gonna hold that right leg in, in three, in two, and one. So you're holding it in. I want you to sit a little lower. Now watch this, that left heel, I want you to lift it up. So you're balancing on that toe, squeeze the inner thigh so you're up on the balls of both feet, and you're gonna pulse down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Squeeze through those legs, squeeze through the glutes. We are going to pivot into a single leg squat here. Right foot stays on that slider in three, in two, and one. Come on up. I'm gonna face you. I want you to make sure you got room behind you as well, because we're gonna use that space behind us. I'm gonna move my mat real quick. So you're just bending that left knee as you squat down. Right leg stays straight. You sink into that left heel. You drive up from that left side to lift you up. Squeezing the glutes up to the top. Sit that butt back in down. Knitting that rib cage together, pull the core in. There we go, and there's zero. You guys all wait for zero to come in. Whew, you have the music on? If you can live through this, you can do anything. Here we go, we got a fun variation coming up. You're gonna sit low in three, in two, and one. Hold it down nice and low for me. Now I want you to pull that right knee in. It's sliding on that slider. You're gonna send that right leg out in front. Bring it back to that left foot, send it out to the side. Bring it back to me, send the right leg back. You're gonna bring it back in, send it forward. Bring it in to the side, bring it in, send it back. So if you notice, nothing's happening on my left side. I'm staying as low as possible, just gliding that leg back and forth in those three directions, stopping in the center. So you got stability happening on that left side. It comes from that quad, that glute, that hamstring. Inner thighs are pulling that towel back and in. Whew. We're gonna hold that right leg 
out to the side in three and two and one. Hold that right leg out to the side. Now pulse that left side down an inch, up an inch. Pulse it down an inch, up an inch. My dog, I'm gonna need that. You're gonna grab that booty band if you have it. We're gonna place it above those knees here in three and two and one. So go ahead, grab that booty band. Okay, apparently he's gonna take my mat. <laughs> Can I have my mat back? No? Fine, I'll suffer. Oh, now you move. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And you got it dirty. <laughs> so right knees down, forearms down. I want you to curl that left heel into your butt and kick that heel up towards the sky. Lift it up, high. <laughs> Lift it up and up, squeezing from the hamstring, squeezing from the glute. I want you to check in with that lower back. Is it arching? Can you pull the belly button in towards that spine and continue kicking that heel up and up? If you curl that heel in a little bit tighter towards your booty, you're gonna feel it deeper into that hamstring. Okay, stick with me guys. We're gonna hold it up in three, two, one. Hold it up, squeeze up from that hamstring, good. Now lift it up one more inch, you've got this. Now pulse it one inch up. One inch down. You're gonna bring it up to those hands. We got a mega donkey kick in three, in two, and one. Bring it up to those hands. I want you to bring the left knee back to meet the right, and then open it up to the left side. Flex your foot, kick out through the left heel. If you want a little extra, you tuck the right toe and float the knee off just an inch. So you got a flying mega donkey kick if you want to. If not, you're just bending and extending that left leg, squeezing from that left glute. Whew. Try not to dip into that right side. So you wanna keep your hips and shoulders squared. Whew. Almost done though. We're gonna hold that left leg out in three, in two, and one. Hold that left leg out, flex your foot, and uh, pulse that left leg up an inch, down an inch. You're gonna keep that booty band on. You're gonna bring it back to that towel. We have a spider lunge coming up in three, in two, and one. Whew. So if you want, you can grab a table or a chair to hang on to. More challenging to not have it. I'm gonna show you from this direction. So squat down on your left side, right foot is on that towel. We're gonna start with your right foot next to that left. Point the right knee out, right toe points out. Sit low on that left side and kick the right leg all the way out. Bring it all the way back in. So this is that spider lunge. You're squeezing from that right butt cheek. You're sitting low onto that left side. I'll show you with a chair to give you that extra balance, that extra support. You just bring your fingertips onto that chair so your chest stays lifted. You can sink into that left heel, try not to pull on it and just gliding that foot in and out. Whew. Feel that burn. Don't let those hips sway. Can you dig that heel down a little bit deeper? Squeeze through that core. Press out through that right butt cheek. Bring it right back in. Nice job, guys. Whew. All that lovely burn coming in. Okay, guys, we're gonna hold that right leg out in three. In two and one, hold that right leg out, squeeze that right butt cheek, sink down a little lower under that left side and pulse that leg up an inch, down an inch, pulse it up and down. Can you take a quick look at that left knee? Make sure it's not caving in. Can you dig that heel down a little deeper and just pulse up and down? We're gonna hold it low in three, in two and one. Hold it there. Now bend your right knee in and out. Option on this next one, you can keep that band on the knees, but you will grab a weight just to make it a little bit more challenging for yourself. So keep that band. You're gonna grab that weight in three, in two, and one. Whew. Okay, grabbing that weight. We're gonna reach up to the right side, bend the left knee, crunch it in towards that left knee. So it's a little standing crunch, almost like a soul train. You're balancing up on your right side. 
exhaling to bring that knee to elbow. Nice job, guys. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. Whew. So good. So with you, if you have that band around those knees, you're getting that little tension to pull against. So it's not only working the quad, it's working up into that oblique and in that center core. Almost done here. We're gonna bring it down to a plank. You're gonna grab your slider in three, in two, and one. Good. Ditching that band, ditching the weight. You're gonna bring it down to your mat. Hands are on your mat, toes are on that towel. Okay, come there. Shoulders are stacked over those wrists. Drop your hip off to the left and bend your knees into the right elbow. So twisted bear, we did this at the beginning. You're bending those knees in, doing a twisted tabletop as you bend those knees in. You're feeling the oblique on the left side crunch in while you're stabilizing. I want you to twist over as you bend those knees in. When you send it back out, your knees are pointing down to the center. Twist over, crunch it in, point the knees down, send it back and out. Can you squeeze those inner thighs? So think about making a little swivel with those hips as you do this full move. Almost done here, guys. So stick with it. Can you press out of those hands so we're not collapsing down into that mat? You're going to hold those knees in, in three, in two, and one. Hold those knees in. Make sure that weight is over into those hands, lighter in the toes, and lift that hip up an inch, down an inch. Lift it up and down. Tiny pulses here. We're going to bring it down into that plank in three, in two, and one. So bring it down into that plank. Oh, I got to open up my towel. Option to bring it down to those forearms. It'll make it more challenging. But I want you to take your right foot, lift it up, cross it behind the left. All your toes are going to point to the right. Shoulders are still stacked. You're going to pike your hips up. So it's a twisted plank to pike. Whoo. Lifting up from that left oblique. Remember, it's just like the plank to pike at the beginning. So if you go up just an inch, that's totally fine. But I want you to squeeze the inner thighs. Lift up like someone's got your waist on a string and they're lifting you up. Higher and higher. You feel that big crunch on that left oblique. Remember, option is to bring it down to the forearms. It's going to make it a little different, a little bit more intense. If you get tired, just hold your twisted plank here. Squeeze the inner thighs, press out, rock that twisted plank first, and then maybe just pike up an inch and down an inch. No hold or pulse on this one. We're gonna go into a super crunch with a twist. In three, in two, and one. Have a seat on your mat. This time your feet are going on that towel. So you've swapped it around. Now, I want you to bring those fingertips to the ears or to the temples. Lean back, down towards your right elbow, twist to the right, crunch up, twist to the left. So you do this full rotation, working both obliques, pulling that belly button in nice and tight. Hands to the center of the chest is always fine. I tend to like this option a little bit more. Can you squeeze the inner thighs for me? Can you pull the belly button in a little bit tighter? Inhale on the way back. Exhale as you crunch up. On that exhale, it pulls the core in deeper, deepens the twist. So you get into those obliques really nicely. <sighs> nice job, guys. We're going to hold it back in three, in two, and one. Hold it back. Lean it back. You're twisted to the right. There you go. Now lift that left leg and just twist the torso towards that left leg, untwist. Just twist towards that left leg, bring it back. Can you feel both obliques working? For the last couple seconds, we're gonna head into that right leg. In three, in two, and one. So keep that slider. 
I'm gonna unfurl my mat. This time your right leg goes on the floor. Left toes are on that slider. Elevator lunge. So keep that left heel lifted, left leg stay straight, deeply bend your right knee. That's not a breather. So deeply bend that right knee, pull that belly button in. Remember, we're not leaning all the way forward, but we don't want to overarch our back. So we want to keep that little stretch in the left leg while the right leg's doing all of that work for us to lift us up, to control us back down. Okay, guys. Whew. Remember, it's that slow movement. So it's down for one down for two, down for three, down for four, up for one, up for two, for three, and for four. Squeeze that back, back butt cheek. Keep it really light in that left leg. That way it makes it easier to slide. You feel that right side working the whole time, but there's no surprises, you know what's coming. You have that hold. Coming low in three, in two, and one. Hold it down nice and low. Picking up that back heel. You bend that left knee in and out. You're just gliding that back leg in and out. Sit low on that right side. Squeeze your inner thighs. We got that funness coming up. I love this variation. You're gonna hold that left knee in, in three, in two, and one, hold that left knee in. Can you sink down a little lower? Do my favor, lift up that right heel, balance here, squeeze the inner thighs, and pulse your body down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Lifting up, squeezing through those inner thighs, squeeze that left glute. Lots of balance here. Remember, you have that single leg squat, keep that slider in three, in two, and one. Stand up, pivot, Whew. So all that weight stays onto that right side. Sit down onto the right side, the left leg glides out. Slowly bring it back up. Remember, you need to make sure you have that uh, room behind you. I completely forgot on this side. You wanna make sure there's room behind you, so if you need to adjust now, so we have that room for that variation. If you're driving up from that right heel, squeezing from that glute, keep your core engaged. Now, one thing I see a lot in this squat is we tend to just fold all the way over. I want you to keep that chest lifted. If that means you don't go down as far, that's totally fine. I want you to stay in good form without compromising something else in your body. We're gonna hold it low in three, in two, and one. Hold it down nice and low, dig through that right heel, pull that left leg in. Now that variation, keep all that weight on the right side. You're gonna send the left leg out. Bring it in, send it out to the side, bring it in, send it behind you, bring it back in, send it forward, in, to the side, in, send it back, in. So you got that variation, you got that inner thigh pulling it in, you stop in the center. Hi puppy. <laughs> Maybe you sit a little lower onto that right side. Hi. Keep that chest lifted, core engaged. I'm not the star, you are zero. <laughs> We're gonna hold that left leg out to the side in three, in two, Woo. and one. Hold that left leg out to the side, right side pulses down an inch, up an inch, pulse it one inch down, one inch up, drive from that glute. Oh, it burns so good. Woo. You're gonna grab that booty band, bring it down to all fours. Hey, CD, in three, in two, and one. Yes, yes. You guys got that power. So place that booty band above those knees. This time your left knee is going down. Right heel curls in towards that booty. Forearms are down. Make sure shoulders are stacked over those elbows. We're not leaning into that left side. You're pulling that core in. As you lift your right leg up, tendency is, is the lower back's gonna wanna dip. Can you pull the belly button in? Maybe that means that knee only lifts up about an inch and down an inch, and that's totally fine. 
I want you to make sure that that hamstring and glute are properly engaging versus your lower back taking this move. Because it is just the leg portion of our routine, not a back portion. Make sure you're not leaning into that left side. We're gonna hold it up in three, in two, and one. Hold that leg up, squeeze from that hamstring, from that glute, pull that core in. Now pulse it one inch up, one inch down. Maximum tension on that booty band. You're gonna bring it into that mega donkey kick on those hands in three, in two, and one. So hands come on up, start with the knees next to each other. Open that knee up to the side, flex your foot, and kick your right heel all the way back. Bring it back in. Core's engaged, you're not dumping into the left side. Maybe you bring it up to that flying by tucking the left toes, and the knee comes off just an inch. But you're driving out like you're trying to kick that wall out from behind you. Shoulders and hips are squared. We have that hold coming up. In three, you kick it all the way out. In two, and one. Hold it all the way out, squeeze from that right glute. Pull that core in and pulse that leg up an inch, down an inch. To get that outer glute, we've got that spider lunge coming up. Keep that band, grab that slider. In three, in two, and one. Woo! Nice job, guys. Okay, if you need to, towel, or sorry, chair or table. Woo! So you're gonna squat down on that right leg. Towel goes on the left side. Starting with those feet kind of close to each other, I want you to point the left knee and toe out. Table is there for you. You're gonna press the left leg all the way out, squeezing with that back, butt cheek. Bring it back in. So you're keeping that turnout on the back leg as you push against that booty band. If you take a quick look down at your knee, it's gonna be stacked over that ankle. So that's where that table, that chair is good to keep that good form, give you that grip. More challenging is holding those hands off of a table or a chair. But you're feeling this through that quad, through the core, through the butt cheeks as well. So both butt cheeks are gonna work on this one. Right side's gonna hold you with a squat while left side's pushing against that booty band. It is the last oblique move, so hang in there with me, guys. Whew. You're gonna hold that left leg out in three, in two, and one. Hold that left leg out, sink a little lower onto that right side. Whew. Watch that knee, chest is lifting. Now pulse that right side of an inch, down an inch. Pulse it up and down. It's slight. Make sure that back toe is turned out. Your core is engaged. Nothing's collapsing in. It's pushing against that band. You're gonna hold it low in three, in two, and one. Hold it down nice and low. Full range, bring it right back in. Remember, you're gonna keep that band. We're gonna grab a weight. We have that standing oblique crunch in three, in two, and one. Whew. Ditching that towel. Whew. Hold that weight. You're gonna reach up to the left. Crunch up toward, crunch in towards that right knee. Excuse me. Whew. So reaching up to the left, you bend the right knee in, twist over to that knee. Pulling against that band, getting that twist. This gets us off of the wrist. Whew. A little bit more, you got that booty band still on those legs. So you gotta feel it in that oblique, in that center core to pull against it, to pull that knee in. Think of it like a standing soul train. Keep on keeping on, guys. We're gonna come back strong, pull that core in. Whew. Okay, guys, you're gonna meet me down in that plank. We have that side bear coming up in three, in two, and one. Okay, no weight right now. Feet are going on that slider. Hands are on that mat. Oh, I don't need that band anymore. Whew. Okay, so we're in that plank. You're gonna dip your hip to the right, bend the knees in toward that left elbow. 
point the knees down, send it all the way back out. Squeeze from those inner thighs, twist those hips over, bend the knees in, you're gonna point them down, send them out. So there's this little half circle happening in your hips. It's still engaging through that oblique, but you do get that little center core work to happen as well. Preferably doing this one on the hands. Um, getting down on those forearms is a little, a little awkward, doesn't feel quite as good. But if you need to, come up to the knuckles, so make fists and come up onto those knuckles. Sometimes my wrist doesn't like being on flat palmed. But I want you to brace through those shoulders. Shoulders don't twist with you. You wanna keep them squared. Bend those knees in, point the hips down, send it right back out. So think of like a corkscrew. You're uncorking that bottle of wine. That's what's happening in your lower body. So nothing happens up top. Whew. We're gonna hold it out in three, in two, and one. Hold those legs out. <sighs> Holding those legs out, lift that left leg up, cross it behind. Get all your toes to face to the left. Shoulders are squared. You're gonna pike your hips up, squeeze through the inner thighs, glide that towel in and out. So even if it's just an inch up and an inch down, that's fine. Even if you just hold the twisted plank, if that means you bring it down to the forearms and hold your twisted plank there, that's fine. You're feeling a crunch on your right oblique. One second, it's just like that side bear. Torso, your shoulders face your mat, face the floor. The lower body is twisting, lifting up as you pike those hips up. Feeling a big crunch. Inner thighs engage all the way up the entire time. Whew, out of breath from just talking. <laughs> we got this guys, stay strong. We're gonna bring it down to that super crunch here in three, in two, and one. So have a seat on your mat, feet come to that slider. We are almost done here, guys. So stick with me. Feet come back to that slider. We're gonna twist the other direction now. So this time, fingertips or hands to the head, or hands to the heart, fingertips to the temples. You're gonna twist down to the left, legs go out, as you crunch up, you twist to the right. See, for that right side crunching in. So you're still twisting both directions. We're just isolating a little bit to one side, but you will feel it on both obliques. Whew. Pull that belly button in, twist it over. Get those shoulders to twist with you. Can you keep your hips still in this move? Don't let them twist with you. Don't let the knees shift around. Almost done, guys. Woo. I got a fun arm sequence to go into next. But first, we hold it out in three, in two, and one. Hold those legs out. Lift that right leg and just your torso. Twist it over and back. Just twist it over and back. Can you feel the right oblique twisting, crunching in? You're going to grab both hand weights next. We're going to stand up nice and tall in three, in two and one. Okay. So you do have the option to sit in a chair. That's totally fine. It makes it just a tad easier, but we got those weights. I chose lighter, so just you do too. Elbows are gonna be in, palms face up, like our serve the platter with those weights. So from a, from a side view, roll those shoulder blades back and down. Flex through those biceps, you serve those hands out and in. If you're standing, I want a slight bend in the knees, soft tuck in that tailbone, knitting the rib cage together, pressing it out. So your biceps, chest, and the front of the shoulders are working here. Pressing it out, we'll bring it back in. As you send the hands out, they wanna stop at shoulder height. Don't bring them any higher than the shoulders. We wanna keep the shoulders down away from the ears, so lock them into those sockets. I'm gonna be nice here and not give you any holds or pulses, because I've got a really fun sequence that works through all the shoulders, all parts of the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna hold those elbows in, in three, in two, and one. Elbows start at the side, palms are gonna face, 
each other and open the elbows out, bring it in, open the elbows out and in. So now that serve the platter work to the front of the shoulder. Now we're working the medial part of the shoulder. So right in the center. So right here on that side, I absolutely love shoulder moves. I love sculpting them. And that's what we're doing. We got three moves that are gonna really sculpt out the three main muscles of the shoulder. We got this lateral raise here. Whew. Watch your shoulders. If you've got a mirror, make sure the shoulders don't start creeping up as the elbows go out. Maybe you bring the hands down a little bit and you only go out just halfway. That's totally fine. Whew. We're gonna bring it in and hold in three, in two, and one, elbows in. Now, palms can either face each other or flip up. I like flipping them up. And we have a noose taper. So you open the hands away from each other. So from the back, you're squeezing the shoulder blades back in together. From the side, the hands stay low with the elbow. And you can see from the front, they pull apart. So now we're working the back part of the shoulder, the deltoid, the back deltoid, posterior deltoid. Now watch this, as you open the arms up, don't let your chest pop forward. Can you knit your rib cage together? Keep that core engaged. I've got a slight shake going on now that that's all properly engaged. You should be feeling all three parts of your shoulder working, especially as you bring the hands back and together. But there's still more coming. There's always more coming. We're gonna bring those hands in in three, in two, and one. So bring the hands in, hinge at the torso, at the hips, bend the knees deeper. So the torso's at a slight angle, pull the core in, palms are gonna face out now, and you're gonna pull the elbows back and down. Elbows glide alongside the rib cage. So now we're working the upper back, still into the upper shoulders. Chin is off the chest, gaze is down. And I want you to pinch the shoulder blades back in together. We just did this move uh, with that newspaper. Same thing's happening in the shoulder blades. But now we're working the lats. We're hitting back into those biceps again, like that serve the platter. We're just working our way around the arm. So we started with that bicep, chest, front of the shoulder. Now we're into the full back back into those biceps, but we're gonna hold those arms back in three, in two, and one. Hold those arms back, elbows in, flip the palms to face. Now tricep kick back. So you're squeezing those elbows. I want you to pull the shoulder blades back, chins off that chest, but gaze is down. Squeezing through those triceps, pull that core in. Whew. So good, so much burn through those triceps, all the back is working here. You're digging through those heels to keep you balanced. We're gonna stand up tall though. In three, in two, and one, stand up tall. I want your palms to face last arm move. You're gonna pull the hands back as the palms face. I'll show you from the back. So palms rotate in as the weights move back. So we call this one chest opener. As you can see from the front, you're pulling those shoulder blades back. It opens up the chest. So upper back, triceps work on this one. Again, don't let that chest puff forward. I want you to knit the rib cage together. Whew. So come on guys, you got this squeeze. We're gonna bring it down to our burnout. Meet me in a forearm plank in three, in two, and one. So weights are down, forearms aren't down. Knees is an option, but if you can't up on those toes, we're gonna bring the left hand, right hand, left forearm, right forearm, right hand, left hand, right forearm, left forearm, left hand, right hand, left forearm, right forearm. So if you notice, I'm switching sides. This is your burnout, it's a shoulder workout. It's a core workout. It's through the obliques. If this is too much for you, drop it down to those knees. A little bit more manageable, a little bit more controllable. But can you watch that sway in the hips? Can you engage through the whole body? Use 
That was a big thud. <laughs> Use that core, that stability through the whole body, those muscles to bring you up and down. Get ready, guys. You're gonna meet me on those hands, on those toes, in three, in two, and one. Pop it to those toes, you're on those hands. Sprint those mountain climbers to the end. Shoulders are stacked. Squeeze to that center core. Pull that belly button in towards that spine. Sprint the, sprint, sprint, sprint. Can you pick up that pace, guys? Go a little bit faster. We're almost there. <laughs> Zero knows something's coming up. That means your child's pose is coming. Keep on in three, in two, and one. Woo! Ah, yeah, puppy. <laughs> Great job, guys. Take your child's pose. Oh, don't worry, I didn't forget you. <sighs> Oh, hi guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Get down. So excited. Okay. So take that child's pose. Yeah. Breathe, relax through it. Whew. I'll take you through a couple stretches real quick. Or just sit up under those heels. Inhale those arms up to the sky. Interlace your fingers. Flip your palms up towards the sky. Reach up. Whew. Now bring your right hand down to the floor. Left hand's going to reach up and over. Do you feel that oblique stretch? Bring it down. Left hand goes down. Right arm goes up and over. Feel that right oblique stretch. Good, bring it on up. We're gonna bring the right foot forward, left knee is back, and then that hip flexor stretch. Rock back, flip up those toes, stretch into that hamstring. Good, rock it forward, switch sides, right knee goes back, left foot goes forward, press into that hip flexor stretch. Rock back, flip those toes up, stretch into that hamstring. Flexing that foot, feel the back of the leg stretch out. And bend that knee, slowly bring it back in. Take any other stretches you feel like you may need. Uh, have a wonderful day. It's Tuesday now. Um, and stay safe and healthy.